Welcome to VidZet. I'm Dr. Ted Noel, and tonight we're going to talk about the presidential debate. Now, the story actually starts several days earlier, because just like the first debate, Hillary Clinton decided that it was time to go into hiding, and she spent a full three days completely removed from public view. Then she arrives at the debate looking all bright and cheery, walking normally, and making good normal gestures. The problem is she can't hide everything. And in the course of the debate there are a number of times when we see her eyes cross. The problem is they come very quickly and they're gone very quickly. I counted seven times. Other people had found other spots where they had seen it but it's clear that they were happening. Things start to get interesting as we watch Hillary leaving the debate headed for her airplane. There we find Bill holding her arm up, supporting her. Now if she just felt a little tired she probably would have taken his arm and hung on to it, but instead he's holding her arm up and she's holding on to the railing. That says that this is more than just a simple bit of tiredness. As she reaches the bottom of the steps, Bill releases her arm, but she continues to hold firmly to the railing and points forward and completely freezes momentarily, appearing to be confused about where she's supposed to go. Then she is directed to go to her side of the car and she starts to walk. This looks very suspicious for being a brief Parkinson's freeze. The real money shot comes when she's on the plane headed out to wherever she's going after the debate. On the plane it's very obvious that Hillary is relieved to be done with the debate. It was a lot of stress and as she relaxes her eyes relax with her. The first thing we see is that the right eye overshoots to the left followed by the left eye overshooting to the right. Whatever's going on is affecting both directions. As we watch this clip in slow motion, we'll see Hillary's eyes go to the right, overshoot with the left eye, and then she blinks. And when she opens her eyes, they have turned back toward the center and are back in normal convergence. This is known as Wilson's sign, and again is a common feature of Parkinson's disease. One of the best articles on eye movement and Parkinson's disease is this paper by Jacqueline Wintercorn. And in it, she points out a couple of things that are of importance to us. First, in Parkinson's disease, the movement of eyes across to new targets, which is called saccades, often is dysmetric. That means that the two eyes are different in their speed. But if we add levodopa-induced dyskinesia, that is, the side effect of taking levodopa for a long time and having a high level in the blood, what happens is that one eye will tend to outrace the other. And this is exactly what we've been seeing with Hillary Clinton. Let's add this all up. It appears that Hillary Clinton stayed out of view before the debate for two reasons. One is she just doesn't have the stamina to do the job. Second, she probably took another drug holiday in order to be able to have the best possible effects from her levodopa. When she arrived at the debate, she looked pretty good, but she couldn't hide everything. She had eye movements that are characteristic than we have seen before. She had some little hand movements, but because of the way the debate was filmed, and because of the treatments and maneuvers she's been doing, you really don't see much there. So what we really have are the eye movements that she can't do a thing to hide. And as she headed out, she showed being tired, maybe froze, and then on the plane, there was no doubt about it, her eyes took off in the directions she did not want us to see. She had clearly levodopa-induced dyskinesia of her eyes, that is, side effects from high levels of the drug. This is characteristic of people with Parkinson's disease, 
and is unlikely to represent any other disease. She's sick, and when we come back and talk about the outlook for Parkinson's disease, it'll become really apparent why this is crucially important. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. Thanks for watching.